before we can use z-scores to find probabilities, we have to find out if the sampling distribution is normal. So let's put, look back at the question to see if we can find out if the sampling distribution is normal. This question says that the heights of the people in the population follow a normal distribution, which means that the individuals in the population have a normal distribution. We know that if the population is normal, the sampling distribution is always normal, no matter what sample size is being used. So the answer to this question is yes, um, the sampling distribution is normal because the population is normal. So we know that the, the means of the possible samples of nine people follow a normal distribution. Now that we know that, that the sampling distribution is normal, we can go ahead and use z-scores to calculate probabilities. This first question says, what's the probability that the sample mean will come out to a number below 57? Since this is a below question, we can follow the two steps that I showed you earlier. We just calculate the z-score of the sample, and then we go to the z-table and look up the z-score. So to, to calculate the z-score of the sample, we just follow this formula right here. We subtract the sample mean, which is 57 in this case, by the population mean of 60. In the question, I told you that the, that the mean of the population is 60 inches. And we divide by the population standard deviation over the square root of the sample size. In the question, I told you that the population standard deviation is 3. So the population mean and the population standard deviation both came from the question. And I also told you that we were taking a sample of nine people. So the sample size also came from the question. So what we need to do is we need to subtract on top, subtract 57 by 60, and it comes out to negative 3. Then we divide 3 by the square root of 9 on the bottom. First we need to find what the square root of 9 equals. The square root of 9 equals 3. So we're going to be dividing 3 by 3 on the bottom. 3 divided by 3 is 1. That's why we have 1 on the bottom. Now we just divide the top number by the bottom number. Negative 3 divided by 1 equals negative 3. So we finished step 1. We found our z-score. Now we can go on to step 2, which um, in which we look up the decimal in, in the z-table. I actually haven't showed you what a z-table looks like, but right here on the slide I created a little mini z-table. What you do when you go to a z-table is you actually break up the z-score into two separate parts. The first part is these um, first two digits right here, including the whole number and the first number after the decimal point. 